Let's look at some of the other fields on the screen so we can better understand what they mean to us. At the top we have the total stock field. This field displays the total number of different stock items we have created. Below that we have the zero rated field. This field displays the total number of stock items created without VAT attached to the item. Further down, below the Add Department button, we have the Max Discount field. This field controls the maximum percentage discount that can be given to this product when selling it. The minimum and maximum stock fields are used for ordering purposes. We can generate reports and orders based on these minimum and maximum levels. Towards the right of the VAT percentage field, we have a button that says Normal Price. By clicking on this button, we can toggle between all the selling prices that have been created on the system. Click on the Show All Prices to display all the prices created on the system in a grid format and we can easily modify all these prices here. Next to the Show All Prices button, we have the Markup and GP fields. If we have called up a stock item, changing these values will modify the selling product price to attain the desired markup or GP for this product. At the top of the screen, towards the right of the total stock field, we have the stock on hand field. This field displays how much stock for this product is available for sale. The blank field below that displays extra information regarding the product, if the product should be a refer product referring to other stock items, but more about this later in the video. Below that, we have the stock on layby field that display how much of this product's stock has been placed on lay-by and aren't available for sale because they are theoretically already sold. Below that we have the total stock field which is the stock on hand and the stock on lay-by quantities combined. Below that we have the average cost price and last cost price. If the system is set to work with an average cost price, the price can change from the exclusive cost price field at the bottom left hand side of the screen should the last GRV price be different from the price of that which was before the GRV was done. In the top right hand side of the screen we have the stock on order field which simply displays how much stock we have placed on order and should be receiving in the near future. Below that we have the load and clear button which allows us to assign a picture to the product which will be displayed in either the retail pause environment or the restaurant touchscreen environment.